video, we'll be going over some common terms you may find in the guide, the first of which is called the unit of account. As many private equity and venture capital funds invest in multiple tranches of a portfolio company's securities, you need to determine whether the unit of account is worth more as a grouping of such investments or the individual security tranches. Is it in a market participant's best interest to sell their assets individually, as a grouping, or a mix between the two? Let's walk through a simple example with two fictitious companies, the Parker Fund and the Arkham Company. Assume the Parker Fund invests in the common stock, preferred stock, and mezzanine debt of the Arkham Company. If the securities could be sold individually for $50, $30, and $20 respectively, but could be sold together for $110, the FASB guidance would tell us that the unit of account is the bundle of all three securities, as opposed to the securities individually, and that our fair value measurement would be based on one unit of account and would result in a fair value measurement of $110. This is because selling the bundle of securities would yield the result that is in the economic best interest of the seller. Alternatively, if the value of the bundles sold together was $90, then it would be in the economic best interest of the seller to sell the three individual securities separately. So you would state the fair value of each position separately and you would have three units of account. The full guide can be found on the AICPA's website. KPMG is here to help you with any questions you have about the guide, and we look forward to the opportunity to talk about how the guide may impact your business.